Welcome to yet another video with Mr. Long and we're looking at the CAT or Computer Application Technology Prac exam from November 2017 and we are looking at question 6 which is the HTML question and remember this question is a different format it's 180 marks which is not what it is at the moment it's normally exams these days tend to be 150 marks we can still get some good practice out of this paper so let's jump into that HTML question. Before I get into that question just a reminder that at the bottom of your exam paper there should be a tag sheet which can help you with your HTML they've got all the tags there that you need to know so don't be afraid to use this as a resource don't rely on it with regard to not having to study or prepare for your html question you still need to prepare and practice but know how to use this together with your exam paper so that at least you can get all the answers so if you have stuck you can always come refer back to this so let's go to question six so here we have a web page and it says an incomplete one called 6vita web page. We must open in our web browser and an HTML editor. So just a reminder of how you do that. If I come here to the data files, what I do is I double click on the file so I can open it up in the browser. And then I also right click on it and then I go to edit with notepad plus plus in my case you can also use notepad but i like notepad plus plus and it should open up like this now what i do is i tend to drag this to one side just to the one side till it does that and then i will take the actual web page and drag it to that side so that i've got them on either side like that you can also click on this and then just run it in one of your browsers that you've got and then you can do that as well but let's go straight into it. Let's do the first question. And that says that if we got there, they give us what it looks like and all that. There we go. And set the font type of the body to Arial. They're sneaky because they say the body, but they actually mean you're using a font tag because you can't set the, the font type in the body tag. So if I come over here, you'll notice that there is a body tag, but they've given you a clue that there is the font tag. So we want the font type to be Arial, which means we want the face to be Arial. If you're not too sure, you can go look at your tag sheet and make sure that you type Arial correctly and in double quotes. Remember, this is a property of the font tag. So it's the name of the attribute equal to sign and the value in double quotes. So if I click on save and then I come to my web page, you'll see I will refresh it and you can see that the font has changed for everything. If I click on that font, you'll notice that it goes purple, which means there is a closed font. There we go at the end. So there we go. So that's fine. So that's the first one done. Format the text growing grapes as follows. It must be aligned to center and the font color must be blue. So let's go to, there we go. That must be changed to, we're going to align it to the center. So align equals center. That is another attribute that we are changing. Now you notice that they type center like that. But if I come over here and type in RE, you'll notice that might not work. So let's try it actually. So I come here and then I click refresh. You see nothing happens. So if I type this ER and then save it, because it's American spelling, there you'll see that it does work. So that is another little tricky thing that they've done. They've spelled center like that because it's South African spelling. You must remember that we are dealing with American tags. So therefore we must put the ER for us. And then the font color must be changed to blue. Now there is no font color property in the H1 tag. So we can't change the H1. We're going to have to put a font tag in first. And then we want to just have that text. So I'm going to close the font over here. Always click on your tags. Make sure they go purple so we know that they're closed. There we go. We've opened it after H1. So we must close it before H1 closes. And we want the color. Remember, it's American. So it's not UR. It's OR like that. It goes red. And we want that to be blue. There we go. So I'm going to click save. And let's go to our page. We're expecting that to turn to blue. Boom. There we go. So it's blue and centered. Fantastic. Let's move on. Add a horizontal line of size 3 below the heading. Growing grapes. So let's come here. They tell me that's where we want a horizontal line, which is a horizontal rule. That's a HR tag and it doesn't have a close. It closes immediately. That's one of the special cases. Remember HR, BR and IMG are your special cases where they close immediately. And we want the size to equal three. We're going to save. We're going to click refresh. And there's my three size horizontal rule. So let's go to 6.4. Apply bullets to the items under the text a choice of your variety so let's come here there we go choice of your there we go there we go choice of your variety so there are the three things that we want to put in a bullet it must look like that note the shape of the bullet so we want a bullet for just those three items so we're going to first of all we need to put all of these in some sort of list what type of list is it ordered or unordered it's an unordered list because there's no numbering so that's why it's bullets and we must close it over here. 
And then for each of those items, we need to specify when the bullet starts and when it ends. And that's a list item bullet. So we're going to say list item over there. And then it's going to end at the end here. And then we close the list item. That's how we define when a list item opens and when a list item ends or when the bullet ends. So those are my three bullets. Okay, so there we go. So those are the three things. So let's just see what it looks like so far. We're going to save it and we're going to refresh. And there we can see, but you notice that our bullets are not the same as those bullets because we've got a special type of bullet. So we're going to say the type is, and we want to say that it's not a disc, which it is. We want to say that it's just a circle, please. It could be square if we want square bullets, but we want a circle type. We save and then come over here and we refresh. There we can see that it's open circle, that they are clear in between. So there we go. So that's how we get it looking like that. And then insert the picture, 6 hectare PNG found in the examination below the heading distribution of wine vineyards. So there's distribution of wine vineyards. They said over here, there's 6.5. We must insert a picture below the heading and set the height and the width to that. So let's first insert the picture. Let's do that first. So we're going to use the IMG tag. Remember, this is the other special tag, which closes immediately. And it's source is the name of the file and what's the name of the file remember we need the whole name the name of the file with the extension and make sure that that file is in the same folder as your html file so there we go we said save it so let's save it and let's see if it works first of all let's go and refresh Boom. So there we go. We've got the picture there. That's great. So it's a graph, a nice little chart there. But we want to change its dimensions. We want the height to be 250. So we can say height field must equal 250. And the width field must equal, what do they want the width to be? They want the width to be 350. Width to be 350. So there we go. Let's save it. Let's go back to our image and let's refresh it. So there we go. The image is a lot smaller. It can fit there. And there we can see that it is displaying correctly. Okay, great. Let's move on to 6.6. .6. Edit the table as follows. Change the table border to 5. So there's obviously a table. There we go. There's the table. Change the border to 5, which means we don't want this border of 2. We're going to change it to 5. So let's put a 5 in there. That's easy. Merge row 1 as shown below. So we want the first row to be merged. So it's merging over multiple columns. So it's we want one row to merge over, to span over two columns. You see there's column 1, there's column 2. So we want it to span over two columns. So that row, that one there, TD, that first one, I think it's variety of grapes. There we go. We are going to put in a coal span. We're merging the row, but it's spanning over two columns, and we make it equal to a two. So span over two columns. Let's just test it to see that it's working. So let's refresh. Boom. There we go. So it's definitely got a thicker border, and you can see that it's nicely merged over two columns. Then we want to add an additional row, as shown below, and place the text in the approach. So there, we, that's the additional values that we need to put in. So we've got a whole bunch of data, but we do not have Sultana. So we want to put in a brand new row. So after this row, we're going to put in a new row, and let's close it immediately so that we can not lose any marks for not closing our tags. And that row is going to have two cells. So we're going to have two sets of TDs. You could actually, if you see, you can actually just copy one of the previous ones to get the format quite nicely done. You could do that as well. So I'm going to do that over here and do that. But we want to change. We don't want to just say currents. We want to say Sultana. So we're going to type in Sultana without an apostrophe. And we want that number to be in the second cell. So the second cell's number must be that number so there we go let's save it let's go back to our so we expecting a brand new row at the bottom boom there we go so there we go i think that's working i think that's all the five marks boom quite easy and then 6.7 find the image six more dot jpeg at the end of the web page so let's go six more there we go it's at it is a display in the picture. Let's go. There we go. There's more information. And they want me to do what? They want create a link on the image. So the whole image must be a link so that when you click on it, it opens up that document. It's also in the examination folder. So that's the document that we want, which means we want the image to be a hyperlink, which means we want it to be an A tag, which I'll put around the image. It doesn't matter that I'm putting it on separate lines. I'm just doing that so you can see it clearly. So we put in an A tag around it. So if I do that, and then we're going to give it a link to that. So in other words, we're going to say href is equal to that file, equal to the file that we want to change it to. What file? 
that's that whole six essay stats dot docx. Even though it's not a web page, it's a document, it'll open up the document. So if I save that and then I go to my web page and I refresh it and then I see my mouse moves over it, you see it's now a hyperlink and you see it's now moving to a particular file to open up that particular file. And there we go, that's it. I think that's all done. If it's a double check and we can save it. If you total it, you'll find that there are some extra marks allocated towards making sure that you close your tags appropriately or sometimes they're minus one so let's just make sure that you all your tags are going purple when you click on them we can now see that one's not going purple because it should have a little slash there but they that's their one we're not stressed too much about that but all your tags should go purple when you click on them so that you know that you have closed them correctly oops you'll notice that i actually put this one in the wrong place this should actually be over here mr long don't i know it displayed it correctly but make sure that you put them in the right place you see it looked a bit odd so that's why i went back there and changed that so don't forget that little mistake that was a little error on my stack make sure that you've got it in the right tag you don't lose a mark if it's in the wrong place so there we go so let's save it let's refresh it there we go you can see it moved a little bit so therefore it's working better now so there we go so i think that question is done let's move on to the final question we're nearly there guys we're nearly there make sure you click on that video description to get the data files as well as links to the other videos make sure you click on that subscribe button leave a like leave a comment we'd love to hear from you and follow us on tiktok at mr long education and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way